Hi, I'm Mark, and this is What's Brewing. Today, we're sitting down with Jessica Willis, the Executive Director for the Youngsville Chamber of Commerce, for part one of her interview. But before we get into it, let's roll that beautiful B-roll. Jessica, thank you so much for joining us today. Thank you, Mark, for having us. It's an honor to be on the series. <laughs> Glad to hear that. So uh, for everybody back home that might not know who you are, go ahead and tell them who you are and what you do. Okay, absolutely. My name is Jessica Willis, and I am the Executive Director of the Youngsville Chamber of Commerce. I am um, a resident of Youngsville, but I am a transplant. I moved to Youngsville in 2015. And um, I am originally from De Quincey, Louisiana. Grew up in a very small town north of Lake Charles. Um, started my adult years in Lake Charles and then uh, moved to Lafayette with a friend of mine and then made my way into Youngsville. Been here since 2015 and never looked back. Oh, wow. And so you've got here in 2015 and from 2015 to now 2022, you're the executive for the Youngsville Chamber of Commerce. Correct. Wow, that's a journey. That's a, that's a quick journey. So how, what led you to start getting involved with the chamber and everything like that here? Uh, whenever I moved to Lafayette in 2015, um, I wasn't sure what that the future looked like for me, but um, I experienced many careers, many different fields um, through sales, banking, uh, and the service industry. Um, and through that, it led me into Youngsville and um, I was still trying to find my journey, but I knew that I always did have a passion for all things local and for all things Youngsville. Um, I lived here in 2016. Um, unfortunately, I was one of the first people who woke up to ankle deep water in August of 2016 inside their home. Um, and what could have and was a terrible and an unfortunate experience actually turned into quite the enlightenment. I think that many Youngsville residents can agree because of how well our city government handled such a terrible situation. Um, and also the way that the community members came together and supported one another. Um, as being someone who wasn't originally from the area, I immediately found comfort in knowing that I had such a strong support system here. And um, through that experience, I always had in the back of my mind that I would like to be as involved with Youngsville as I possibly could. That's amazing. Yeah, it's like, I'm same here. I'm a resident of Youngsville. Been here since uh, 20, oh gosh, what was it, 2012. So I moved here and I had that same experience. Wake up, wake up, walked into the back room of my house and all of a sudden my foot just was in water. I'm like, well, that's not a good sign. Yeah. <laughs> mm -hmm. Called into work. I was like, I don't think I'm coming to work today, guys. Um, yeah, so that's amazing. So, so with the chamber, from my understanding, this is actually a new position at the chamber, uh, which, you, which you took. So how, how did that come about? Right, so um, the chamber was actually started in 2005 and it was um, a small group of volunteers who got together and local business leaders in the community who saw that, you know, the city was going to be on the cusp of a great expansion and they wanted to see the business side of things um, be on the same page as that. And so, you know, they got together and um, nothing as formal as we have now, but over coffee and talked about what the future would look like for the chamber. And they knew in the growing years um, that eventually it would come to a point where it would be um, a paid full-time position. But back in, you know, in the early beginning stages, it was strictly led by a group of volunteers who have made it what it is today. That's amazing to me to hear that this this has been a volunteer basis and now they're you know they're starting to put a point. It's great to have someone like you that's sitting there looking out for other businesses, uh, definitely businesses businesses around and in our community. Um, so what I'm going to do is actually uh, I want to dig. out, I really want to ask you some more questions, but right now I'm actually going to uh, we'll put a pause. Do you mind doing a part two interview? Absolutely, I'd be uh, thrilled to. Awesome. Well, thank you very much for joining us today. I appreciate it. So uh, ladies and gentlemen, that's gonna do it for us here over at What's Brewing. 
Uh, if you like what you see here, don't forget to hit that like button, crush that subscribe button, and don't forget to hit the bell so you can get all the notifications when new videos come up. But for Mark over here at Rooted, we will see you later.